for this maneuver. Once again, drops, boy. This is awesome one of Fry's signature maneuver. He's gonna make his booty in his shorts. My second. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, ref just drew this match out. Uh, don't tell me he's gonna do this. Not the package power driver. Uh, just to eat my shorts. I mean, not the time and punishment. Now on the floor. Oh my god. You have got to get up. The United have done it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the Clash of Smash. This is the go home edition of the Clash of Smash. And our next mega event will be UWO Madness and what a drama filled mega event that is going to be. We're going to kick things off with our, with our opening contest. Here comes Princess Peach. Princess Peach made down the challenge to Samus on the last edition of the Class of Smash. Princess Peach wants to prove herself to the UWO fans as well as the woman here in UWO that she is a good, she is a great contender and a great wrestler. Here comes Samus. Samus in allegiance with Princess Zelda. It looks like the Sisters of Smash are at a civil of war. Even they might not be a Sisters of Smash anymore. It might be done and buried here in UWO. But Princess Peach has a tough task on her hands. Samus, a former UWO Women's Champion. So. This is going to be a true test for Princess Peach and not counting the ability and strength from Samus. Here we go, our opening contest is underway, and we start out with a tie-up. Arm rigor applied there by Samus has Princess Peach at her mercy in our matches for tonight. Before we get too far into this contest, we are David Arquette versus Bade for the UWO World Championship. The Inkling Girl versus Christy Montero. They have the Spy going against the Zack Ranger in our main events. It could be Bart Simpson from the United going against the UWO champion, Phil J. Fry. Nice takedown there from Samus. And a punch to the face, some cheap shots she's getting in on Princess Peach. And just slams her face right into the mat to add insult to injury. Samus being very arrogant here in this contest. She might think she has this on a bag, but don't count Princess Peach out. She defeated the Wii Fit Trainer. And I see great days for Princess Peach this season three if she keeps this momentum up. Samus 
on the advantage. Elbow to the back of the head of Princess Peach in again. Samus Irish whips Princess Peach drop kick. But I think Princess Peach deflected it. Oh, kick to the face right there from Samus. What a kick that was. My goodness. What a kick to the face that was. I'm not sure what type of kick that was, but it was effective. Oh, my goodness. Big time right hand there from Samus. Knock it down. Princess Peach to the floor. And Princess Peach looks to be out of it. Slowly getting back up to her feet. And she goes back into the ring. I preached, in my opinion, Princess Peach should have took a breather outside the ring to regain herself. And it looks like Princess Peach playing a little bit of mind games here. Irish whip again from Samus Dropkick. No. And Princess Peach deflected it. Elbows to the face of by Princess Peach. Princess Peach fighting here. She's staying on top of Samus. And that's the smart thing to do. Oh my goodness. Big time punch to the big time kick to the face. Oh, backbreaker. Pump handle backbreaker. There from Samus. Goes with a cover. Puts the hand on her face. Oh my goodness, that was close. And Princess Peach was able to get out. Samus picks up Princess Peach and the scoop and the slam slams her hard right into the mat. Samus not yet done. Has another headlock applied. It's like a snap mirror, but no, oh my goodness. A knee buster, face buster, I should say, to the knee of Samus. Drop kick off, oh, and again knocks down Princess Peach to the floor. Now this time, Samus is going right after Princess Peach. And you have to think that Zelda is watching closely. She is watching closely for this matchup. And you have to look at it as you think there's going to be a match soon. Against Princess Peach and Princess Zelda. I'm pretty sure they have some beef they have to settle. It looks like Samus is working on the leg on Princess Peach, trying to slow her down. Lifts up Princess Peach again and transitions into a suplex. Impressive maneuver there by Samus. Samus lifts up Princess Peach once again. Once again, going back to that leg, to the left leg specifically. Turns Peach around, but what is this? With the submission here, has Princess Peach elevated, and this works on the knee area and the shins, as well as the shoulders. And, and like I said, here comes, and here's. Princess Zelda watching on in this matchup. She's very curious what Samus can do and how Princess Peach can do. Wait a minute, wait a second. Princess Peach escapes the submission. She bounces off the ropes. Big time face buster. There by Princess Peach. And now she is going high risk. What is she thinking of doing? Waiting for Samus to get back up to her feet. I'm not sure how smart this is. Goes for it. Oh, she's going for a set time. But Samus uses her straight. Oh, just big time power bomb. And she's not yet done. The second consecutive one. Wait a minute. Oh, goodness. Three power bombs in a row. This has to be it. What? And Samus cannot believe it. Princess Peach has kicked out. Princess Peach is on another level here in season three as you see the frustration building in Samus as she tosses Princess Peach over the top rope up to the face there by Samus oh goodness just knocked her right face first into that announce table throws her Back inside the ring as the ref makes the count. 
And what's this? Oh, she's going for a springboard splash, but she missed it. She's going to do the splash right to her back. And Princess Peach, what's this? I think she was going for the toaster surprise. But a kick to the face there by Samus. And Samus again going high risk. Mozart, no! Peach again moved out the way. Kick to the mid section. There by Peach. Plants her with a DDT. Goes for the cover. Will this be over? No, only a one count. Like I said before, this match even started. Samus is going to be a tough opponent to beat. A former UWL Women's Champion is she. And we have a reverse DDT there from Princess Peach. And another one count. Still not enough to take out Samus. Snap bear applied. There by Peach. Oh, another kick to the face there from Samus. Peach catches the arm of Samus. Big time elbow. Knocking Samus down to the mat. And Peach going to high risk. This didn't work out well for her before. Knee right into the face there from Pierce's Peach. And that took a lot out of Peach. And she goes for the cover. That's a two count. Oh, that was a close one. Samus was able to kick out. But Peach cannot waste too much time here. Or Samus will recover and take advantage. Oh, kick to the midsection. There by, by Samus in the big time spine buster. With a cover, will this be over? And no. Peach again was able to kick out. Like I said, I'm impressed with this young lady right here, Princess Peach. She keeps this up. She may be a champion one day. Oh, big time slap to the face. What a hard slap to the face that was. Get to the next session. There from Samus. Samus with a crucifix. Big time crucifix there from Samus. Oh, come on, ref. He just grabbed onto the golden locks of Princess Peach and tossing her halfway across the ring. And again she does it. Sam is showing no mercy in our opening contest. Backbreaker there from Samus. She's not yet done. She's going for it again. Oh goodness, this has to be it. She saw she cut her throat. She'll see going for a third one. No reversal there from Princess Peach. She goes for a vertical suplex here. Impressive. And now, what does Peach have in her mind? Backbreaker there from Princess Peach. And Peach now lifts up Samus. Oh, what a knee to the face that was, my goodness. An elevated knee right into the face, right into the bridge of the nose of Samus. Punches, turns Samus around, and then inverted DDT this time. Kick to the back. There from Princess Peach, trying to keep Samus down. Irish whip. Ducks under, leaps over, does preach. Goes for a scoop and a slam, but no, a counter there from Samus. A scoop and a slam, but no, Peach counters. And what is this? My goodness, what a maneuver that was. A reverse suplex. Oh, only a one count. What does Peach have to do to take out Samus? Looks like nothing is working. I will swap again. Ducks under. Power slam there from Peach. Does for the cover again. Will this be over? Oh no. And Peach cannot believe it. As you see the concern on Zelda's face for Samus. Peach is like, what are you doing, Samus? Put Peach away. Oh, I think Peach just collapsed from that punch to the face. But wait a second, Peach is still in this fight. Was this an inside cradle here from Peach? We got a one. What? Peach with the upset to Samus. 
My goodness. Princess Peach has done it. She's defeated Samus in our opening contest. Let's take a look at how this match ended. She saw she collapsed from that kit to the midsection. But Peach quickly recovered and catches, Pe catches Samus with that inside cradle. She saw she crossed the leg and Samus cannot get out of it. What an upset that was from Princess Peach. Oh boy, this is going to be pretty interesting come when Zelda confronts Samus. The following contest is for the U.W.O. World Championship. Will be for the UW World Championship as heard by our announcer. David Arquette was booked in this match because he barged into Beirut's office and demanded a match against. Look, he didn't demand a match. He wanted some type of revenge against Time Versetti. I'm not sure what that's about. I guess Time Versetti ruined, ruined his re debut here in UWO Season 3. And he wants to get back after Seti. But Seti has bigger fish to fry against Zack. But tonight he has he, he better concentrate on this matchup as David Arquette. He's gonna have to go against a beast known as Bane, the Royal Champion. Because being the royal champion, he's held that title for quite some time now. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure who's going to take that belt off his shoulder. He has a simple finish maneuver known as the backbreaker. But a backbreaker 
coming from this man is devastating. You do not want to be a victim of that. And it looks like David Arquette will be his next victim. And you might know who's going to be the winner of this match. Pretty much a spoiler. Here we go, the Royal Championship matchup starts now. So I tell you, but no, being too powerful for Arquette. Oh my, what is this? Oh my goodness, fall away slam with force, and David Arquette is feeling the pain. What does Bane have on his mind? Oh my goodness, what a boot to the face that was, knocking Arquette down to the mat. But he's going for the backbreaker. No. Oh, sidewall slam. Sidewall slam. They're from Bane. Bane's just toying with Arquette. Oh my god, what a punch that was. My goodness. And Arquette had to take a breather. Wait a second. David Arquette, he's leaving. What is this about? David Arquette on the ramp. It's like he's protesting this matchup. He feels he's better than this. Like I said, he probably wants time for steady, but he wasn't granted that from David from from Babe Ruth. And the ref just had to wave the match off and base the winner.
What's this? Mario wants to create a tag team with Sonic. Oh, oh, that, that would be pretty interesting. I, I definitely would like to see that happen. Anyway, our next contest is going to be this Inkling girl going against Christy Martero. Inkling girl, our new coming here at UWO. How will she fare off against one of the top performers in women's wrestling, Christy Martero? And what an entrance from the Inkling girl, from a newcomer. I, 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 whose shoes does she have to shine to get this entrance? comes Chrissy Martero and what's this Wonder Woman is by her side uh, I'm, I'm surprised because what will happen in the last edition of Clash Smash Wonder Woman was talking to the Punisher Frank Castle about something we still don't know what that was and matter of fact we're gonna show that in a few moments here this happened on the last edition of the Clash Smash Christy caught Wonder Woman talking to the Punisher, but Wonder Woman told Chrissy she was not talking to him previously, so this is pretty interesting, and it's pretty interesting that Wonder Woman is out here supporting Chrissy Montero. So I wonder how this will play off once this match starts. They got a matchup at UWL Madness. They will be they will be tag team partners going against Rico Hinamoto and Narmika. And the winner of the winners of that tag team matchup at UWL Madness will face one another. And in that one-on-one -on -one contest, it will be for the number one contender for the UWL Women's Championship. But nonetheless, this match is underway. Inkling girl. Going against Christy Montero. Inkling has a headlock applied, but Christy, the veteran as she is, pushes off. Inkling girl, but the girl with a counter with a nice arm drag. Irish whips, Christy ducks under, she leads over. It was just a tilt the world DDT. My goodness, impressive maneuver. Impressive maneuver by this newcomer here. Headlock applied by Inkling in a Russian lace sweep. A simple maneuver, but it gets the job done. Look at these. I think she's just choking Christy. Inkling showing a bit of viciousness, but you need that here at UWO. Now reaching away on the head of Christy. Snap suplex, my goodness, I think the bottom of the leg hit the, wait, what is this? What is Wonder Woman doing? This is not like Wonder Woman. She's distracted Inkling. But Christy, she's not taking advantage of that. Looks like she's gonna talk to Wonder Woman, but looks like Wonder Woman is ignoring Christy. And then that type here. But Christy wins the exchange with a headlock. Irish whip. Inkling to the turnbuckle. Kick to the face. And a Frankensteiner by the Inkling girl. She goes for the cover, hooks the leg. But a one count was there. Headlock applied by the Inkling girl. What is she going for? It's like a guillotine. Guillotine choke here from the Inkling girl, reaching away on the neck of Christy Montero. Christy in a bad way. Can she find an escape? Christy may be a little bit distracted from one of her best friends, Wonder Woman. She's not sure what's on Wonder Woman's mind. Irish Whip again. There from Christy. Big time Chapinoa counter there from the Inkling girl. 
this German suplex, my goodness, almost folded her up in half. And again, Wonder Woman distracted the Incan girl. What is this about? What is she doing? Maybe that talk she had with the Punisher had some type of influence. Chop punch and a chop and a punch. Big time rapid shots there from the Incan girl. Christy in a bad way. She has to amount to a comeback. This match is going to be over. Big time drop kick to the face of Christy. Now Inkling girl going high risk. Goes for a sit time. But Christy moved out the way. Michinuko driver there from Christy Montero. Will this be over? No. Kick out there by the Inkling girl. Inklin is very impressive in the match, nonetheless. It's like a net breaker there from Christie. Now Christie is going high risk. And will this pay off? Big time drop it to the back of the head. I'm surprised Inklin is not knocked out from that shot. Irish Whip turns it back around, but no counter there from the Inklin girl. To belly to belly over the head suplex. And a neck breaker from England Girl. Cover ball to the back of Christie. And a Sayoto suplex. My goodness, dropping Christie on the back of her neck. Looks like she might be calling for the end of this matchup. But I know a counter did by Christie with an elbow to the face. My goodness, what a kick that was to the face. Of the Inkling girl. Oh, just hot shots to, to that bottom rope. Picks up the Inkling girl once again. It's like another, no, goes for a net breaker, but Inkling saw that coming. Another guillotine choke. Will Christy tap out here? Will she give, it, give up? And no, Christy is not giving up yet. Pushes off Inkling girl. What is this? A sliced bread there from Christy. What is this? She's going for the Brazilian drop. Here we go. He's calling for it. There it is. The trouble in paradise. Goes for the cover. Hits the leg. This match has to be over. And it's done. Christy Montero is the winner of the matchup. You see one of them crossing her arms. Who doesn't look too happy about that? I'm not sure what that's about. But a great showing there from the Inkling girl. An impressive matchup. To say the least, I thought Christy had this match lost. But Christy, the veteran that she is, pulled out a victory. Take a look at how this match ended. Christy calling for the trouble in paradise. And that was enough to put the Inkling girl away. Wait, wait a second. Wonder Woman is leaving the arena. What is this about? Not showing, not celebrating with Christy. What is going to happen at UWO Madness? Save humanity from total destruction. Hmm. It's up to Homer Simpson and family to save the world from a diabolical plot as they run and drive to unravel the conspiracy. Black Finch! Critics call it the best Simpsons game ever. Get the lot, dude. The Simpsons hit and run, rated T for T. I am evil Homer.
If you're close to Spy, you haven't seen much of this man as of late. But he has the opportunity tonight to show Kim's himself. But he will be going against the Zack Ranger. And the Zack Ranger has been relentless as of late. What he's done to Joe Giovanni and Time Rossetti. So I do not like the Spy's chances here tonight. There he is, the Zack Ranger. A UW Madness. He will go against Time Rossetti in the Hell and the Cell match. Hopefully they could they could conclude their rivalry, but I do not think the rivalry will end right there. It may still go on, but whoever takes the place in that hell in the cell may beg to differ. Tonight he has a warm up matchup. I hate to call it that, but it is a warm up, warm up match for him before he meets Time Rossetti at UWO Madness. This man is ruthless. He is relentless. He shows no remorse. Maybe that's why he's so successful. Let's see what he could do here tonight against. The Supreme Technician, the Spy. I just can't believe Zack. I don't know what has gotten into him. I mean, I know he thinks change is necessary, but not in this way. Here we go, this match is underway. The Spy against Zack, the Zack Ranger. Zack. Goes behind. What is he thinking of doing? But no counter. There from the spy. Showing his technical prowess. Takes down. The Zack Ranger has him at his advantage. But a counter. There from Zack. Goes behind himself. And he takes down the spy. Turns it into a headlock table. Kick. Headlock takeover. And a counter. There from the spy. Turns it into a head scissors. And another counter. Different the spy. We may not see much of this technicality at UWO Madness when Zack goes against Time Rossetti. It's just gonna be a fight. I'm not sure why it's even sanctioned. And what does the spy have in mind for Zack? Oh! DDT almost. Oh! Almost broke his neck. From that DDT. And the spy is not yet done. I'm surprised he didn't go for the cover. Just a backstabber. This may be it. Goes for the cover, hooks the leg, but no. Zach was too close to the rope. Zach, a former UWO champion. He's actually the first ever UWO champion. So you know he has a lot of skill under his belt. And a nice counter there from Zach. With that clothesline, look at that German suplex. A deadlift German suplex. What a bridge. Would this be over? No. Only a two count says the referee. And Zach lifts up the spy. A kid to this mix session. In a spinning knee right into the tempo of the spy as the spy spills out to the floor. What's this? The Zach Ranger going high risk. Springborn off the top rope to the floor onto the spy. Now throws the spy back inside of the ring. Lifts up the spy once again. Knee to the midsection. And a straight knee into the face once again. Zach is just relentless. Oh my goodness, what a kick that was. He put all of his might. On that one, punch to the face, turns the spine round, 
Well, to the back. Oh my goodness, a kick to the back of the head. That was just relentless. Ruthless. And aggressive. He is showing no remorse. Oh, nice going to stomp him out. What is it? Like he's a, a burnt cigar. Or cigarette. What's that? Going for the submission hold, trying to wear the spy out. But the spy knows all the counters. Wait a minute, the spy for a nice reversal, getting out of that submission hold. What's up? The Zack Ranger once again. Irish whips, turns him back around and nails him with a backbreaker. Back to his feet once again, and the spy, I'm not sure he's going for it, looks like he's going for a power bomb, but Zack was able to counter. And a swinging net breaker, it's like a swinging reverse net breaker, I've never seen that before. And Zack, uh oh, he's going high risk here, ladies and gentlemen, will he be going for? There it is, the mega splash. He hits the mega splash, that's one of his signature maneuvers. Lifts up the spy. And a big time DDT. My goodness, just planting him right into the mat. Looks like he's setting him up. Wait, here we go. This is finishing maneuver. There's the reckoning. And this match might be over. And it's done. Zach Ranger is the winner of the match before his match against Zack at UWL Madness. Zack with an impressive victory, but can he do the same to Time Rossetti at UWL Madness? Let's take a look at how this match ended. Zack set the spy up for his finish maneuver the reckoning. And that was all she wrote. He went for the cover. He hooked the leg. And that was that. Well, wait a second. Here goes Time Versetti. So he's going to confront Zach. This is what I mean, Time Versetti said he was going to do this on the last episode of Clash of Smash. Let's we'll see what he says. Turbo Graphics 16 is about to knock video games back into the Stone Age. It's 10,000 years ago. You're a cave dude. You are carnivorous. You've got to bonk 28 stages of prehistoric bad guys to rescue your excellent looking princess. And you've only got one weapon. Bonk's Adventure, only on the Turbo Graphics 16 system.
prepare for trouble. Make it double. To protect the world from devastation. To unite all peoples within our nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse! James! Team Rocket, blast off at the speed of light! Surrender now or prepare to fight! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, our next major event after this show the UWO Madness. Let's take a look at the card. For the UWO Championship, it's going to be Frank Castle going against Philip J. Fry. This match has been personal between these two. The United has been getting the upper hand against Fry, but can the UWO Champion prevail against the former UWO Champion, Frank Castle? Next matchup is going to be Shuri against Sabrina Spellman. What an interesting match this, match this is going to be. You don't know, not know what's going on in Sabrina's head after that match she had with Rita X at UWO Fear. This is a whole new Sabrina, and Shuri has to be careful. Next matchup is going to be for the number one contendership. Another, it's going to be for the number one contender for the UWL Championship. It's going to be Luigi going against Luke Skywalker. And Luke Skywalker himself is the Golden Shore Champion. So he might have two opportunities. But he wants those two opportunities to make sure he's 100% in control of his success here at UWO. But Luigi might beg to differ. Next matchup is going to be the tag team matchup. Rico Hinamoto tagging up with Rainbow Mika to show off. And they're going to have to go against Christy Montero. We saw her earlier tonight in her tag team part of Wonder Woman. And their relationship looks like it's going on a roller coaster. She, Wonder Woman talked to the Punisher, maybe to rethink her career path in UWO. So this is a very interesting match to say the least to see how Christie's and Wonder Woman's relationship play out. And up next is going to be Donkey Kong going against the monster, the T-Engine. Donkey Kong has to be careful. The T-Engine has no soul. He, he just listens to Dr. Wily and his orders. Dr. Kong took the initiative to go against the T-Engine to avenge his, his partner Link and the Super Smash Brothers. Can Dr. Kong prevail against this monster? And the next, in our main event, is going to be in a Hell in a Cell match. The most personal rivalry here we have UWO at the moment. Time for Seti going against the Zack Ranger. A very dangerous matchup is the hell in the cell. It shortens careers, it changes lives, but these men are here to prove something to end this rivalry once and for all.
he's back. All you had to do was ask Super Mario Brothers 3 from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power. Back here on the Clash Smash for a main event of the evening. It's gonna be Bart Simpson going against the UWO champion, Philip J. Fry. Philip J. Fry has been going against the United just be because of Frank Castle. He's going he have to go against Frank Castle and the United. So that has to play a factor at UWO Madness when he goes against the Punisher. But his next obstacle is going against this kid right here, Bart Simpson. And here comes the UWO champion himself, the proud fighting champion Del J. Fry going against Bart Simpson here tonight these two have a lot in common for known reasons but nonetheless they will be battling to, sh to show who's the better man here tonight on the Clash of Smash Fry is a proud champion he is a fighting champion he's seen his battles against Link and others so he may have a good shot against a former UWO champion of the Punisher at UWO Madness. I believe Fry can do it. The Punisher may not believe Fry can do it, but Fry does believe in himself, even though he's not the brightest. He has a lot of heart. Here we go, this match is underway. Boris Simpson going against Philip J. Fry, the UWO champion. And it looks like Bart Simpson is taunting Fry. He is a brash young kid. It is Bart, and we tie up. And Bart Simpson with the arm ringer to the UWO champion. Philip J. Fry finds a counter, turns it into a, a hammer lock, a king lock, whatever you want to call it, and a counter there from. Bar Simpson into a hammerlock of his own, wrenching away on the left arm of Fry. Now drawing some cheap shots. I mean that was known that Bar Simpson is a cheapskate. And a counter there from Fry taking Bart down to the mat. Can Bar Simpson escape this? And, Fr and Fry is gonna show Bar Simpson why he is the UWO champion. And another tie up here. Fry turns it into a headlock. Looks like Bart. He's gonna push off Fry. Bart ducks under. He leaps over. And a nice arm drag by Philip J. Fry. Headlock face over. Draws Bart across the rope. Goes for a scoop slam. But no. Counter. There for Bart Simpson. Turns it into reverse DDT. As Bart Simpson looking very excited for his advantage against Philip J. Fry from that exchange. Bart cannot get too arrogant. He is going against the UWO champion. This is a great opportunity for this kid to showcase his skills. He may be able to beat Fry, but it's gonna be an uphill battle. And a counter there from Bart Simpson. Fry onto the advantage at the moment, but a counter there from Bart Simpson and a counter again there from Philip J. Fry punch in the face there by Bart hits in the mid section what is this butterfly suplex into an arm bar impressive maneuver by Bart Simpson a member of the United can Fry escape this arm bar as Bart is wrenching away hopefully to get a submission but Fry punching away, escaping the hold. 
punch to the face. There for Fry. Follows up with a chop and another chop. Drayson McCarsta. Middle rope. Springboard off. Springboards and throttles him on that middle rope. Impressive maneuver. Very innovative. And in one count, Bart was able to escape. Driver Schwartz, Bart Simpson to the turnbuckle, but a counter there from Bart Simpson. Kick to the midsection, no. Fry, oh my goodness, what a kick that was to the face. Kick to the midsection, and Fry, going for submission himself, has the knee on the back and wrench it away on the chin of Bart Simpson. And Bart, with a counter, escapes. And Bart, what's this? It's a Minchinuka driver driving Phil J. Fry down to the mat as Bart is going high risk. It's a splash. A splash off the top rope. As he goes for the cover, hooks the leg. This may be it. Can he defeat the UWL champion? And no. And Bart Simpson cannot believe it. He, de he thought that was a dream count. He thought he may have made have had had the victory. Picks up Fry once again. What is Bart Simpson thinking of doing? This aggression lay sweep. A simple maneuver, but it gets the job done. As Fry slowly gets back up to his feet, draped against the rope, but then a counter. There from Fry, punch in the face. There from Fry, and again coming back with a, 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 an assault of his own. Super kick right to the face there by Bart Simpson. Almost knocking Fry out. He might have knocked him out. Got a cover, got a cover. Oh my goodness. Only a two counts. Fry very resilient. That is why he's the UWO champion. He is too dumb to quit. Irish whips. Fry into the turnbuckle. It's like going high risk here. Oh, elbow to the face there by Fry. And Fry the cross body off the top rope. And Fry waiting for Barson to get back to his feet. Super kick right to the face himself. Fry with a super kick of his own. Goes for the cover. And no. And Fry cannot believe it. He might have thought he had the victory from that super kick. And look at this cover here. Impressive maneuver. Will this be over? And no, only a two count. I never seen that move before from Fry. Fry pulling out all the arsenal here tonight. As the champion, you need new moves in your repertoire. Oh boy, counted there for Bart. My goodness, what maneuver that was. A, a spinning arm drag off the top rope. Irish was Fry, turn the turnbuckle once again. Lifts him up. Looks like he's gonna do what he thought he was gonna do before. And what is this? Oh boy, not this, not this. Oh my god. German Super has thrown the middle rope. You have got to be kidding me. And there's a splash once again. Fry is in a bad way here. But he's not going for the cover. This is the inexperience of Bart Simpson. He cannot make more of those mistakes. And what is this? Oh my god. That's what a maneuver that was. A face buster from the knee of Bart Simpson. And no. Only a two count. Says the referee. But a sub fry once again. Hit to the shin. Elbow to the face. There by Bart. And another elbow. And the second one. Throws him down to the mat. Stomp to the chest. Fry is very, I mean, Bart Simpson is very impressive here tonight. I'm surprised he's going this long with the UWO champion. And, and Bart Simpson on the top row as Fry's on the floor. What is Bart taking? And what is this? Oh my goodness! Frankensteiner off the top row to Fry on the floor. You have got to be kidding me. Throws Fry back the side of the ring. But lifts up Fry. I'm surprised he did not go for the cover. He might have to go for the cover now, but no. A spinning kick to the face. Now he goes for the cover. Will this be over? And again, another kick out. 
Bart Simpson made him wasted a little bit too much time. He should have went for the cover right away. And it cost him. Oh. Looks like Bart Simpson is working on the arm. Oh, Phil J. Fry trying to loosen up that arm so his so he doesn't hit a special delivery. So with so much force. He may have took a page out of the puncher. The puncher might have coached Bart prior to this matchup. It looks like he's doing very well so far. Very relentless on that arm of Phil J. Fry. It's a knee right to the face and the head and scissors takedown to follow up. Now Bart sends a Richard away on the neck area of Phil J. Fry, the UWO champion. Will Fry give it up? But no, Fry was able to escape. Snap mare and a headlight takeover. There from Phil J. Fry. Reaching away on that head of Bart Simpson. That spiky head of Bart Simpson. And a nice takedown maneuver there from Philip. Fry lifts up. Bart Simpson once again. Irish whip back again. But no, jawbreaker. There from Bart Simpson. And roll up. No, just that kick once again to the back of the head. And Fry. And there it is to eat my shorts. Will this be over? And no, my goodness. Fry was able to kick out of it. And Bart Simpson cannot believe it. It's like he's going to go for it again. Here it is to eat my shorts again, but no counter for a power slam. For a power slam there by Philip J. Fry. And Fry's calm for it. He is calm for his finishing maneuver. The special delivery. Goes for the cover, hooks the leg. Would this be over? Yes, it's over. Philip J. Fry is the winner of the matchup, but a good showing by Bart Simpson. He almost took Fry to the limit here tonight, but Fry is showing why he is the UWO champion. He took advantage of Bart Simpson's mistake and capitalized. Let's take a look at how this match ended. He's going for the Eat My Shorts for a second time, but Bart Simpson count I me. Mean, Fry countered into a front power slam. If, if Bart was stunned, he could not recover. If Fry hits him with a special delivery. And that was all she wrote. And Fry is the winner of the matchup. What an impressive it. Wait a minute. Oh, God damn it. There's the punisher, Frey Castle, taking advantage once again. I mean, he stands for America, but this is very unpatriotic. Here it is. Oh, not the time and punishment. Come on. He just had a match. Wait a minute. Fry punched away. He countered. Wait, wait, oh, special delivery, it's a, the Punisher, my goodness. Anyway, I'm Danny Mike, and this is UWO, I'll see you guys at UWO Madness.